Hi students, coming to the next topic in the subject uh, microprocessors, we are discussing about the microcontroller. In the previous video, I explained about the what are the main features of the microcontroller and the applications of microcontroller and a difference between the microcontroller and the microprocessor. Now let us see the what is the architecture of microcontroller. So the major components that are present in architecture, so uh, are divided this. Uh, 8051 microcontroller architecture into different components so the components that are present in microcontroller is the one first one is a bus control this bus control consists of data and address bus it is having the data and address bus so whereas in uh, 805 uh, 8086 microprocessor you are having the system bus the system bus is having the an address bus control bus and the data bus whereas in 8051 microcontroller it consisting of bus control a bus control having data bus and address bus next a for general purpose for general purpose parallel input output ports so total it having it has four general purpose parallel input output ports next it is having the timer and timers and counters timers and counters which are present within the 8051 microcontroller chip internal ram and rom the chip consists of ram and rom uh, that are embedded in uh, single chip if you want you can connect some external uh, memory also internal ram and rom serial ports which is usart uart universal asynchronous and receiver transmitter next interrupt control logic will be present interrupt control logic and the main part that is a cpu central processing unit so these are the different uh, components you call it as a major components that are present in the 8051 microcontroller so actually this 8051 microcontroller is this is suppose it is a chip this chip is this you call it as a single chip this single chip is a microcontroller which consists of central processing unit ram rom those are the memory units input output ports Next, it's having some timers, timer or counters, and some serial port, serial COM port. So, these are all integrated within a single chip. That you call it as microcontroller. These are the main major components that are present in 8051 architecture. Now, let us discuss each component clearly. So the first component that is present in 8051 microcontroller is a bus controller. So before going to explain about this uh, all the components, so th let's have a look on this 8051 architecture. So this is an architecture. In the 8051, you are having the interrupt controllers, central processing unit, oscillators, and the 4 kilo uh, ROM read-only memory and 128 bytes of RAM random access memory and the bus control which is having only holds the address and data buses four input output ports so it's a four input output ports p0 to p3 and serial communication for transmitting data and the receiving data will be uh, uh, monitored by the serial port, serial component and this is a timer one and the timer two circuits so this is an internal architecture external interrupts that come from the external devices that may be hardware interrupt or may, may be a software interrupt okay so this is an architecture now let us discuss each and every component clearly so the first component that is present uh, that we are discuss that we want to discuss is the the bus controller so what is it bus controller let me explain about the bus controller bus control A bus control is a bus is nothing but a group of wires. We already know that. They consist in, there are two kinds of buses that are present in the bus control. That is the data bus and address bus. So here the data bus is used to transfer 8-bit data. 
data bus is used to transfer 8 bit data it acts as an electronic channel so this data bus is mainly acts as an electronic channel using which data travels wider the width of the bus greater will be the transmission so whenever obviously whenever the size is increasing you can transmit lot, uh, more data so wider the width of buses and greater will be the transmission of data whereas address bus is a 16 bit address bus 16 bit bus it transfers information not data address bus is only used to transfer the information but not data so this is the first component uh, that is present in 8051 microcontroller and coming to the second component what is the second component the second component is a four general purpose parallel IO ports This 8051 microcontroller consisting of four general purpose parallel I.O. ports. The four general purpose parallel I.O. ports are port 0, port 1, port 2 and port 3. So these are the four general purpose parallel I.O. ports. Each port is having 8 bits. It is an 8 bit port. This is also an 8 bit port. 8 bit port and this is also 8 bit port so now coming to the port 0 what is the operation that port 0 can do a port 0 where there is no external memory present so in no first point is no external memory is present no external memory so these ports acts as an IO port the first thing is uh, here these ports acts as a general purpose IO port acts as general purpose IO ports okay so in the presence of external suppose if any external memory is there uh, means if suppose there is external memory then it acts as a multiplexer address and data bus if external memory present then it acts as multiplexed address and data bus so that's why we call it as it is a dual role it can perform this port 0 can perform dual role now coming to the port 1 what is the operation that port 1 can do a port 1 is uh, used for various interfacing activities so it is an 8 bit port which performs only IO operation it only used for the IO ports it does not it does not perform dual functions okay it does not perform dual functions now coming to the port 2 a port 2 is similar to port 0 you call just it is similar to similar to port 0 this port can be used as a general purpose next last coming to the port 3 what is the operation that port 3 can do a port 3 it just behaves as a it behaves as a dedicated IO port okay so these are the four general purpose parallel IO ports port 0 port 1 port 2 port 3 and uh, and the remaining components that I'll explain in the next video thank you